है एवरी वन ए वार्म गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई नेम इज तापस कुमार प्रधान एंड आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम टू दिस चैनल विल डिस्कस अबाउट अथॉरिटी एंड लेजिटिमेसी इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द पॉलिटिकल सोशियोलॉजी यूनिट फाइव एस एस बी पी अथॉरिटी एंड लेजिटिमेसी कॉन्सेप्ट यू कैन सी द प्रीवियस योर क्वेश्चंस विल हेल्प टू अंडरस्टैंड द पैटर्न ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस द डिमांड ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एंड कॉन्सेप्ट एंड हाउ वी शुड लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड व्हाट शुड वी स्कीप एंड व्हाट विल वी लीड टू स्टडी सो विदाउट डिले लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस द प्रीवियस और क्वेश्चन ऑन द बेसिस वी विल कवर द कॉन्सेप्ट और थ्योरी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो गैस लेट्स स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट हाउ हैज मार्क्स ओवर क्लासिफाइड द अथॉरिटी ओके अथॉरिटी बाय मार्क्स वेबर ऑप्शन ए साइकोलॉजिकल अथॉरिटी पॉलिटिकल अथॉरिटी इकोनॉमिक अथॉरिटी बी रैशनल लीगल अथॉरिटी पॉलिटिकल अथॉरिटी कारिस्मेटिक अथॉरिटी सी इकोनॉमिक अथॉरिटी ट्रेडिशनल अथॉरिटी कारिस्मेटिक अथॉरिटी डी रिशनल लीगल अथॉरिटी ट्रेडिशनल अथॉरिटी द कारिस्मेटिक अथॉरिटी आंसर ऑप्शन डी द क्वेश्चन अबाउट द अथॉरिटी क्लासीफाइड बाय मार्क्स वेबर ओके गेटिंग अरे यस लेट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which traditional thinker brought out the significance of power in political phenomena? Okay, option A, Nietzsche; B, Catlin; C, Laswell; and D, Charles Merriam. Okay, option D is answer. Charles Merriam, the thinker of behavioral, father of intellectuals. Okay, behavioralism, the significance of power in political phenomena. One of the traditional thinker, Charles Merriam. Okay, option answer D. So the concept related to the पॉलिटिकल फेनोमेना ओके द पावर एंड पॉलिटिकल फेनोमेना देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट शुड नॉट बी डॉन बाय अ पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम टू मेंटेन इट्स लेजिटिमेसी ओके सो द कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम एंड लेजिटिमेसी ऑप्शन ए रेस्पेक्ट फॉर कस्टम एंड ट्रेडिशन ऑप्शन बी सप्रेशन ऑफ द सिटीजन्स ऑप्शन सी कारिस्मेटिक लीडरशिप ऑप्शन डी प्योरिटिक इलेक्शन सो आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी वेरी इजी दैट टू एन्श्योर लेजिटिमेसी इन ए पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेजिस्लेचर टू मेन्टेन द लेजिस्लेटिव ओके लेजिटिमेसी द लेजिस्लेचर कैन यूज द रेस्पेक्टिंग द कस्टम एंड ट्रेडिशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अट यू कैन से दैट इन आरोगुल इन आरोगुलेसन ऑफ द रामलाला ओके इन अयोध्या सो इट इज व्हाट Paying the tribute to the custom or tradition of Hindu uh, civilizations, the Hindu cultures, okay, that people support the government because people love the custom tradition uh, as worshiping to the Lord Ram. So option A, the respecting the custom and tradition will help to maintain the legitimacy. Totally correct. Option B, I will count later it. ऑप्शन सी कारिस्मेटिक लीडरशिप फॉर एग्जांपल आवर हॉनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स कारिस्मेट लीडरशिप्स बाय हिज कारिस्मेटिक एंड द डायनामिक स्पीच पीपल फॉलो पीपल फॉलो द रूल ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स देन ऑप्शन डी पीरियडिक इलेक्शंस द कंडक्ट ऑफ फ्री एंड फेयर पीरियडिक इलेक्शन एवरी फाइव इयर्स बाय द इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया मेन्टेन द लेजिटिमेसी ऑफ द पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम्स टोटली करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी सप्रेशन ऑफ द सिटीजन्स नो ऑन लव टू सब्जुकेटेड एंड सप्रेसड बाय अदर्स सो ऑप्शन बी नॉट अप्रोप्रिएट आंसर इज बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बिफोर दैट इट्स ए प्रीवियस और क्वेश्चन इट्स ए प्रीवियस और क्वेश्चन दैट आस्कड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री डिसेम्बर एस एस बी पॉलिटिकल साइंस नेक्स्ट Who define capacity, understanding, judgment, and imagination driven character of decision maker? Who define option A leadership, B authority, C intelligence, D vision? Answer is B because authority has a power to define capacity, understanding, judgment, imagination. For example, 
of the decision maker uh, say for example there is a um, a organizations decision making is the feature of uh, an organization so how can the decision will be made a organization try to make a decision that how can we be product made for that there must be a capacity to uh, create a resource or uh, uh, borrowed the human capital from the society or community utilize the imaginations contemplation thinking judgment so this is all done by for what decision making and who make the decision authority make the decision so answer is basically b okay in this process you have to create your logic and understanding so this is all about your previous question legitimacy with respect to legitim legitimacy and authority let's discuss the concept or the theory with specific focus to legitimacy and authority will help to learn and capable to answer these questions okay let's first understand the max weber max weber theory three type of authority okay so three type of authority by max weber that is the traditional authority charismatic authority and rational legal authority okay this is the max weber theory of authority what is a traditional authority that authority specific focus to the custom tradition belief hierarchy the process of existing past society that is how traditional for example monarchy traditional authority maintain the hereditary monarchy okay yes please response okay then next charismatic as i already said to you the people or say for example student in our class has charismatic personality or take a decisions in a different or unique way present a argument in a dynamic way that is accepted by all that is how charismatic authority then rational legal the authority based on logic rationality autonomy secular outlook and that also based on the rule of law okay that is mentioned in our provision or the constitution so three type of authority moving moving forward what is authority do you know authority what does it mean authority all talks about power authority and different thing authority can be formed with a combination of power plus legitimacy what is power power means a one to perform certain action by the b b otherwise don't want to do that thing that is a correlation for example i want to do that make a ppt for me but you don't want to do that thing if i will force to you do that thing that become authority sorry that became power okay when there is a force correlation manipulation domination that is known as power i hope you understand it what is authority when we exercise the power to use the domination force correlation in rightful way that become legitimacy for example right now people are people has been protesting or say for example farmer has been protesting in your north in the north india and the police have authority use the force use the uh, tear gas use the uh, lathi charge for maintaining the social order and that is also violence that is also using of the coercion also the using of dominance suppressing the farmer by using the different methods and violence way do you call this is a power it is authority because it is mention our law because we provide the consent or obedience to the system or authority and why this thing is done to maintain the social order maintain proper system in a society so it is authority it is not power because it has a legitimate in characteristics it mention in the law it mention in the our legal action it's morally correct so this is the authority 
if it is clear then i will moving to definition of the power robert maclever you can see you can see here robert maclever define power as a capacity in any relationship to command in service see robert maclever also talks about a power is a capacity that means authority is a capacity so here is a keyword here is the keyword for example here capacity understanding judgment imagination of decision maker that is authority is just remember the key term remembering the key term is it to provide answer because it is a competitive examination robert maclever finish then legitimacy as i already described to you legitimacy describe as a respect and willing compliance resulted benefit to larger society okay for example why the lathi charge by the policy because it benefited the society not only the few people but also all the society due to the protest uh, there is a traffic jam due to the pro protest the people are um, uh, stop the different shop and communication and transportation so it benefited to the larger uh, society that's why the police or authority has used their power by maintaining the social order so this is what resulted benefit to the larger society what legitimacy not authority let's discuss about to uh, robert dahal concept of polyarchy what is polyarchy polyarchy talks about power is not concentrated with one individual or few but it distributed among the different center of the groups okay that is how robert dahl concept of polyarchy then moving to steven lucas power as a radical view in that book steven lucas gave the three dimension of the power will explain in a beautiful way if you have patience don't skip the class let's see okay so three dimension of power one dimension is what the decision making one dimension is what the decision making okay for example who make the decision legislature make the decision executive make the decision so don't go to the parliament just see for example we are in odisha so who make the decision decision made by administrator decision make by the our elected representative they make the decision so they have the decision making power that we elect the you elect them to make decision on the behalf of us decision making power that is one then rest two is what second thing is non decision making who has the non decision making power who has the non decision making power obviously people have the non decision making power okay and how that also exercise the power those are have not uh, taking the decision or not have the power by granted by the constitution how they exercise the power for example you me i recently recently again i will take a example of the farmer protest farmer have no power to make the decisions who make the decision uh, on with respect to the the farm bill or the the agriculture it's the agriculture ministry and farmer why they protest because they want to change any law or make any kind of law in our uh, system or regulations they, they 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 force to the legislature they request to the legislature or they put a agenda that make law law on that area law on that argument law on that msp minimum support price so they basically the non decision making the holder they protect the present agenda before the decision makers to make the decision on that with respect to that agenda that is how what the non decision making power so your uh, you will be ask your question sir what is the last, third one the third one is about the shaping the desire in shaping the desire they are neither making any kind of decision nor putting agenda to the decision maker to make a decision but they create a consent they create a desire among the people automatically for example there are different institution different organizations who who, who has been continuously uh, spread their item their product 
टू सेल्स और पीपुल परचेज दैट थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू सी इन फेसबुक और ट्विटर इन एडवर्टाइजमेंट कंटिन्यूसली ए थिंग्स और इन योर वाइट यूट्यूब शॉर्ट्स यू कंटिन्यूसली थिंक ए थिंग द इवेंट और द प्रोडक्ट फॉर से फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर ट्राइंग टू बाय ए वाच इफ यू विल कंटिन्यूसली सी द सिल्वर वाच देन ऑटोमेटिकली ए डिजायर और ए इंटरेस्ट क्रिएट इन योर माइंड दैट आई शुड बाय दैट थिंग आई शुड purchase that thing i should uh, bring that thing to my home so this is how shopping desire one thing automatically create in your mind to do that thing so it is also one kind of exercise the power don't you think so so this is all about your authority and legitimacy i hope clear to you if it is clear then press the bell icon as a mark of your attendance Thank you guys have a nice day and do watch and do well thank you guys have a nice day